We were here today to look at what new technology can do to save energy. And in this case, specifically focused on street lighting. And what's happened in the street lighting business, it's been basically the same since electricity was invented. But in the last couple of years, with new control technology and with new uh, lighting technology, we have been able to put together so street lighting can both be significantly more energy efficient and also be part of what everyone talked to, which is called the smart grid. That basically, they all are networked together. There's a lot of benefits that we can do. We're here this morning to really celebrate a great marriage of technology and energy efficiency along with public safety and public convenience. The street lights, again, last for about 20 years. That's more than twice as long as the current lights that we have up there. And they also are much more controllable. You can, you can make them lighter, you can make them dimmer, you can control them to strobe light if you want to alert people to something. You can also find out if they're going out before they go out. Right now, we have to drive the streets or wait till somebody calls us to make sure we know that there's a street light out. With this, we'll have, be able to understand remotely that there's diodes starting to go out in those lights and we'll be able to fix them and replace them before the street gets dark. It's about taking an energy efficiency strategy to a whole nother level and being much more targeted, much more strategic. These bulbs are anywhere from 50% more efficient than the old sodium bulbs. And when you add on the smart technology, you get another 20% of additional energy efficiency. So you're looking at 50 to 70 percent increase in efficiency with these new technologies. Uh, we actually think we'll substantially reduce energy consumption throughout the daylight hours, not just the late evening hours. I want to make sure we work with the industry to do a lot more. The idea of having the strobing technology down here uh, is an extraordinarily valuable thing. Uh, an emergency vehicle will know immediately because of a light that is strobing uh, that an incident occurred within the parameters of an actual street light. So we think this has all kinds of remarkable benefits. They also we think will provide a deterrent for street level crimes, street level drug dealing, street level prostitution. So these will also have a very important deterrence factor. We are laying, as the mayor said, the foundation for getting all of the street lights converted at some point. This is a this is an effort that will increase energy efficiency, lower the carbon footprint, lower the costs of energy, and in these days, cities need to lower those costs and increase public safety. So it's win, 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 win all around. Uh, now here we are implementing uh, the first in a series of LED installations, the first 50 here in the Tenderloin, and the next 44,000 throughout the city and county of San Francisco.